In this episode at HowToWrench.com, I'm going to show you how to install large final graphics. This can seem intimidating, but if you break it into a few steps, it's not that bad. Step one is going to be to get that graphic and roll it out and hang it up. It's best not to have it have the curl memorized in there, so this will help uh, it lay a little flatter. Step two is going to be to give it a good power wash just to get all the major stuff off. Step three, I took a heat gun and took the uh, as much of the vinyl off as I could with the razor blade being awful careful not to scratch the surface underneath. Doing this lightly will leave the adhesive which we'll remove in another step. Step four, you see I used some paint thinner and you want to test that in a spot on your vehicle to make sure it won't remove any paint. On mine it was had a great gel coat on there. And then just use a razor blade. You could even use a plastic razor blade to really be careful and uh, the adhesive literally just wipes right off. It's fantastic. Step five, you're gonna see I'm going to buff the surface, and I used a light grinding compound on this, but make sure to wear safety glasses and a respirator. Can't stress that enough to use safety equipment. Watch one of my other videos, you'll see where I have these new safety glasses that absolutely don't fog up by radiance. Step six, I'm just gonna power wash all that buffing compound off to be safe. Step seven, I'm gonna give it a quick hand wash. Step eight, it's another wash with power washer. Step nine is going to be to give it a really good hand dry. You'll notice I start at the top and work my way down, and you really have to come back and catch those drips. We don't want any water to get under this graphic. We want a really good, clean, dry surface. So uh, do a thorough job here. Step 10 is to take some rubbing alcohol and thoroughly dry the area that you intend to put the graphic on. you got to make sure that that is super clean and that there's no residue or any wax in that area. Even after all that cleaning, look how dirty this rag still is that I was using. That's why you need to do this step. Step 11 is just do some rough placement and get the graphic up there. Don't spend a lot of time at this point. Just get it up there so that then you can determine exactly where you want to put it. Step 12 is going to be to actually center the graphic. And this is where we'll take some exact measurements. Put some reference uh, tape up there that you can uh, line the edge of the graphic onto. Measure twice, move once. Here you'll see me move the graphic over and uh, double check my work by remeasuring. Step 13 is going to be to level the graphic. You'll see here that I'm going to use a couple references to make sure that the graphic fits well with the other graphics and the, the vehicle itself. The common step that might be made in this next mistake would be to go ahead and level the sticker with the horizon or with level. But the problem is, is the vehicle is not sitting level right now. So what you want to do is take some reference points on some other of the stickers and then also take a reference of how the level is on you know a, a good known surface. Like let me show you that what the level looks like right here. Take a look and see where that level is and if I go to the sticker and put it on a straight line it was exactly like this. And so I'm taking it across a good known edge and then also do like the edge of stickers I did the edge of the top sticker and saw the relationship between all of those and then where this bubble instead of being perfect is gonna sit something like there little tip for you so now that I'm happy where it is I'm gonna put some more tape and support this support this bottom a little bit, peel this back, rip off some of the backing, fold it up, and then work my way down. I like to pull a sticker down. Uh, I like to work with gravity. So I need one more tool. I need a squeegee. And then uh, I've got my heat gun ready just in case I need it. The whole key to this is you need to be able to work fast but smart.
So the edge of this can be a real bear because it's really wanting to uh, wrinkle. So you really just gotta, gotta take your time. You, you have plenty of time to work with this sticker, so don't rush it. The kind of thing here, I want the white to look a little sharper than the black because it shows up more on the white. Preparation is key. That's why we had that heat gun waiting and ready to go. So now I'm going to go over the whole sticker just verifying there's no bubbles I missed. Something that could lift on me later on. All right, there you have it. This is uh, your tutorial on how to install the large size vinyl uh, decals, if you will, or your rolling billboard going down the road. I thought this one would be a better one to model than the smaller ones because working alone and working from ladders in big areas is just a little more stressful. So hopefully this will ease some of the, the pain in your decision on installing your own. Uh, and if you like this video, please hit a like, subscribe, feel free to put a donation if you feel this saved you a few bucks. And uh, I'm going to get ready to hit the road myself. Make it a great one. And as always, keep wrenching.